Well, you have to squeeze it, Mama. <laughs> Whether it's Markers or any of her five kids, April Lane always has her hands full. I mean, look you can ask me. them, they know. Look, my, my, look, look at my now. picture. So all your five kids are under the age of? Seven. Seven. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> chaos. Oh. But it's a welcomed chaos, especially when April thinks about her journey of building a family. It's heavy. It's a, it's a huge burden as a female feeling like you are failing the one part of you that you're meant to, to do. April and her husband were diagnosed with infertility. They adopted a son, had twins through IVF, and surprisingly got pregnant two times naturally. A little bit nervous. So once her family was complete, April wanted to help someone else become a mom. We all have these trials and tribulations, and it's our job to give back in any capacity. At the end of last year, April donated her uterus to an anonymous woman. It's all part of a clinical trial at Baylor University Medical Center. It's almost like they donate an experience. They want someone else to experience pregnancy and giving birth like they did. And it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. Dr. Lisa Johannesson has played a major role in these clinical trials since they started back in 2016. <laughs> and over the past two years, we've told you about two babies successfully born from a transplanted uterus. We want this to reach out to more women. It's been a very secluded group of women so far, but we want, we want uh, everyone to be able to benefit from this. We are frozen, frozen. And for the 39-year-old donor, she counts each of her five blessings every single day. Now their understanding of what we did together and what we hopefully did for someone else, um, it's a, a big proud mom moment.